Hey guys, what's up? This is Black Cubing, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about unsolvable positions of the cube. If you have ever played with a cube, taken it apart and reassembled it in a certain way, you would have noticed that certain positions of the cube are not possible to solve, such as this one, and they cannot be arrived at by doing normal turns of the cube. Now we prove why these positions are unsolvable. First, let's deal with unsolvable positions where corners are oriented in a certain way and to do this we will assign a number for each corner depending on its orientation so when the corner is oriented correctly that is the yellow face or the white face of the corner is facing either up or down for instance here the white face is facing up we will give it the orientation number zero now if the corner is rotated once clockwise like this we will give it the orientation number 1 and if the corner is oriented twice clockwise or it is rotated once anti-clockwise we will give it the orientation number 2 and what we are concerned with here is the sum of the orientation numbers of all the corners or more precisely the remainder when the sum of the orientation numbers of all the corners is divided by 3 so for instance if the sum of the orientation numbers of all the corners is 3 in this case for instance this corner has orientation number 1 this corner has orientation number 1 and so does this one and all of these have orientation number 0. The sum of the orientation numbers, I'll just call it S O N, is 3, and the remainder when this number is divided by 3 in this case is 0. So, more mathematically, we want the S O N mod 3. Now, we will see what happens to the sum modulo 3 when we do certain moves of the cube. So when we do an R move of the cube, for example, this corner now has orientation number 2 plus this corner having orientation number 1 plus this corner having orientation number 2 plus this corner having orientation number 1. So the sum of the orientation numbers in this case is 6. And the remainder when 6 divided by 3 is 0. So 6 is equivalent to 0 more 3. So what we have seen is that the modulo of the sum of the orientation numbers, it's quite a mouthful, remains 0 even after performing an R move. And it was 0 to begin with because all of the corners have orientation number 0. And so the sum itself is 0. Now I won't go into that much detail here but if you try it yourself at home after doing any move of the cube the sum of the orientation numbers modulo 3 never changes so if the sum of the orientation numbers modulo 3 at the beginning was 0 after doing an F move it's still 0 after doing a B B prime whatever move you do it still remains 0 and now we will use mathematical induction to prove that after any number of moves and any moves for that matter the sum of the orientation numbers does not change so we will prove this first for the base case of one move which is just what we have done over here so this holds true for one move now we assume that it holds true for n moves which means that after doing n moves of the cube the sum of the orientation numbers mod 3 does not change. So if it was plus 2 to begin with, after doing some number of moves, it still remains plus 2. And now we will prove that if it holds true for n, it must hold true for n plus 1 as well. So since it holds true for n, after performing n moves, the sum of the orientation numbers of the cube is still whatever it was before and now after doing n plus 1 move we are just doing one move on top of that and we have seen that any move of the cube does not change the orientation numbers and so even after doing n plus 1 moves if it was the same for n moves it has to be the same for n plus 1 moves as well and therefore by induction we have now proved that after doing any moves and any number of moves the sum of the orientation numbers of the cube will always remain the same 
And now it's really easy to understand why this position, for example, is impossible to solve. In a solved cube, which is what we want to eventually attain, the sum of the orientation numbers of the cube must be zero because all of the corners are oriented. But in this case, it is plus two. And we have just proved that after doing any number of moves to this and any moves, in fact, the sum of the orientation numbers will still remain plus two. Therefore, there is no way to achieve a sum of the orientation numbers as zero because if there exist there existed a solution to this, that solution will be able to change the sum of the orientation numbers mod three. But we have just seen that that is not possible, and so we have proved that only those cases are solvable where the sum of the orientation numbers of all the corners on the cube is zero modulo three. So for example, if we see this case, so here the uh, orientation number of this is two, orientation number of this is one, two plus one is three and three mod three is zero. So in this case, the cube is solvable and I can in fact solve it right here. That was a wrong PLL, but whatever, here we go. The cube has been solved. And so we have proved that any scramble of the cube is solvable if and only if the sum of the orientation numbers of the corners modulo 3 is 0. There are also cases where the edges are unsolvable. So a better way to put this would be for any scramble of the cube, the corners can all be oriented correctly if and only if the sum of the orientation numbers of all of the corners modulo 3 is 0.